Our vision for Green Zebra Grocery is we're reimagining what it means to be a convenience store. Because people walk in and they say, oh, this isn't a convenience store. And I say, who says? We named it Green Zebra because that's actually a tomato variety that grows particularly well in the Pacific Northwest, and that's what we hope to do. I had read an article uh, in a local periodical about her wanting to open up this concept. So I sent her an email, kind of blind, and she was ecstatic. She was like, whoa, I didn't know you guys existed, and gosh, I went to your website, and what a great fit you guys would be for us, and, and we really hit it off. I wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for Craft 3. Typically, it's nearly impossible for a startup business to get a loan. The reason that Craft 3 was interested in doing an $800,000 loan, which is a pretty big loan for us, was the enormous amount of outcomes that Green Zebra is making in this neighborhood and the community in Greater Portland. My name is Leif Gildersleeve, and I own Flying Fish Company here in Portland. I've been around the fish business my entire life. My family started Flying Fish Company the year before I was born, in 1979. I work with all the small fishermen and producers of these sustainable products, so they bring those products to me, and then I distribute them out to a place like Green Zebra. So delicious. Yay. I'm glad you brought those in for us. Yay. Way high five. Flying Fish fortunately sustained me for the last about five years. It's a family-run business. I'm a hands-on owner. I've got six employees, so I'm able to support not only my family, but six other people's families as well. So we probably partnered with close to two dozen different Kenton neighborhood um, vendors, which helped strengthen this neighborhood's economy. And then we moved it beyond to the next circle, which was Portland and North Portland, and and beyond that to the county level where we get a lot of our produce. And so if you look at the supply chain and what one little store can do to affect the economy from farmer to harvester, um, delivery truck person to stocking the shelves, that's a lot of jobs in that um, chain. And this one little store has a big impact. I feel a sense of thankfulness that my uh, dream for a neighborhood grocery is, is come true.